In other news now, her ex-boyfriend is accused of assaulting her and trying to break into her home. But tonight, he's still a wanted man. Yeah, we first introduced you to Heather Martinez in March, shortly after her ex, Simon Villa, disappeared. Nearly nine months later, Martinez spoke to the night team's John Paul Barajas about living in fear that he could return. He's going to kill me. I, he's already, he's to me numerous times. Nine months of watching, waiting, and looking over her shoulder. Heather Martinez says she now moves often all out of fear her ex, a wanted man, will find her. This is just a failure, another failure in the system, like failing everybody as far as like a cry for help and then a judge can't spawn. Simon Villa was arrested for assaulting and stalking Martinez at the end of 2019. The physical scars have healed, but Martinez adds her mental trauma resurfaced when Villa was released from jail at the end of 2022. And then shortly after, police say he tried breaking into her home in February of this year. The first time we went to trial, he literally said he was going to kill me. He was going to kill my, me and then kill himself. So, and I'm pretty sure he's going to make word on that. When he was breaking into my house, he wasn't going there with a the gun just to talk. Villa was arrested that night on charges of attempted burglary with intent to assault, along with felon in possession of a firearm. Yet, he was given bond, again, this time with an ankle monitor. Bearkind DA's office told us back in March, Villa cut that off, and he's been on the run ever since. I now carry a gun, like I have to carry a gun everywhere I go. Um, again, I moved my, I had to move my house. Um, I mean, everything's just been a burden for myself and my family. Now, nearly a year after Villa disappeared, Martina says this message for authorities working to find him. I want him to be found so I can live with a clear conscience and go somewhere not thinking I'm going to run into him somewhere. Via's criminal history includes assault and stalking, and that's all prior to being arrested at Martinez's home. Now, we asked the DA's office why somebody with this criminal history would be given bond. We were told that judges are required to do so under the Texas Constitution whenever somebody is charged with a new offense. Currently, there is a warrant out for Via's arrest. At the Paul Elizondo Tower, John Paul Barajas, KSAT, 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.